Hi everyone. So, to celebrate 100 subscribers on this YouTube channel, which is just, you know, amazing, I've decided that I'm going to do a uh, talk through, almost like tutorial thing, um, of one of my um, art things. I'm just sort of talking through what I'm doing and stuff like that because um, people have expressed uh, quite a bit of interest in it. And so I thought, you know, why not? Uh, 100 subscribers might not seem a lot in today's YouTube economy, <laughs> but um, it's definitely a lot for me. So thank you very much. So I've decided to draw my Elder Scrolls character, um, Wolfstein, yes, pretentious, I know, um, because I really like his design. Um, and as you can see here, I'm just starting off with a basic sketch, putting in all his features. Uh, I just use like quite a simple brush for this, nothing too fancy. Um, just basically doing his eyes and stuff and uh, mapping out what expression. Um, I had a bit of trouble with his mouth. I wanted him to look kind of malicious. Um, I mean, it ended up at the end that his beard sort of covered up the mouth anyway, so it wasn't really, not really much point in putting that much effort into it, but never mind. Um, I've had also a lot of interest expressing how I draw eyes and stuff. I thought that this might be a good opportunity to explain that. Um, basically, everyone's eyes on different characters are different. Uh, I try to make my eyes on different characters different. As you can see, I've put in quite dark rings on this guy because, you know, he's, uh, he's meant to look kind of evil, you know. Um, but I basically start with just an almond shape and uh, give him thick lashes because I like the way that looks on both men and women. Um, I think it adds like a cool kind of um, thing to it, makes it look kind of cool. Um, that's basically it. As you can see, I've drawn in his beard and his hair. I'm just starting to map out some sort of armour. I don't really um, think of what armour to do. I didn't really reference it. I just thought, you know, I wanted enough room to show off. Um, he's got these, like, tattoos. I wanted his arms off, you know, arms free of clothing to show these tattoos and stuff. Um, so I just thought, oh, I'll just give him, like, a breastplate with some, like, stuff holding on and, like, a fur cape at the back and... As you can see, I've started my lines now. I think I used about three different brushes while I was doing this line. I used this quite thick one that you, that you see now, which is very smooth and very good for doing his skin and his features um, because it allows sort of the thick lines that I like on the eyes and things like that. Um, and then I changed to a different one when doing his fur on his, like his fur pelt. Uh, that was a much thinner one. And then for his armor, I used kind of a grainy sort of thin line, which you'll see in a bit. Um, the beard was actually very difficult to line because I didn't want to put too much detail into it and make it look like too many lines all at once, but I still wanted it to look like it's growing out of his face and not just been stuck on with like glue, you know? Um, but yeah, I think I got through it. There's a lot of line correcting doing here because I recently got a new tablet, so it's, uh, I'm, it's fi I'm finding it quite difficult to, um, get the lines sorted out. Um, because this one's a lot smaller than my other one, so uh, my lines tend to go over a little bit more because um, I don't realise that I have to drag that far. But anyway, um, so now I'm starting off with his hair. I really liked his hair. I was going to give him like more hair than that, but it just turned out that the Mohican just looked the best, so I just I just kept with that. Um, so yeah. Just checking to see if my lines look okay. By turning off the sketch layer, as you can see, I'm using that other, other smaller brush now, just to make it look a little more fine for the hair. And I'm adding these little lines in just to give everything a little bit more texture. I'm trying out on the brushes. I've turned back to that thick brush. Oh no, wait, I'm using the thin brush now for the armor. I don't even know if this is like a real armor or whatever. I'm not very good at doing technical clothing, but um, you know, I thought, whatever. Can't just keep drawing on my men with no shirts all the time. It's not. Can't just run away from your responsibilities like that. They'll draw. They'll draw some armor at some point. So I did. And I realized that he doesn't have anything protecting his back. But then I thought with a fur pelt. It's still not very good enough, he can still get stabbed in the back. But I'm just thinking, you know, my excuse is that there are other pieces to the armour 
that he just hasn't bothered to put on. Busy's lives on the edge like that. Now I'm using the thick line again to do his uh, skin and arms. Okay, so <clears throat> now that um, my, my lines are done, I guess I'm going to do the colouring. And, um, you know, for this... thought that you need that to see the whole thing so um, so yeah just showing you uh, what I'm doing and stuff and for now I'm just adding in the basic color um, nothing really much interesting here my method basically here is just go outline the places that I want the color and then I just fill them in so um, pretty self-explanatory um, so I might just fast forward this bit and then I'll get back to you when I'm adding detail to um, the colour. Okay, so now we're back from doing the basic colours, I'm going to start putting uh, some detail onto the colours. So as you see here, I've started with the um, fur pelt, and I'm just like putting in some um, like dark detail with like, this, this brush, almost like a gauze kind of brush. And then um, I'm going in to the skin. The skin is sort of my favourite thing to do. For uh, colouring, I usually use uh, reds to do it, I think it looks quite nice, and I go in with a soft uh, airbrush and I do that and I keep darkening the colour depending on what uh, the dramatic look that I want. Um, with this guy, he's got uh, quite interesting tattoos which mean that it's like a, a ombre on his skin, so you'll see me add that later. But for now I'm just defining the features with a bit of a dark browny red. Um, I'm going in with shine and stuff, um, just to show that there's a light source in the uh, picture. And I'm using um, sort of yellows and stuff like that. And it's very um, important to make use of colour theory. Just play around the colour wheel a bit. And as you can see, I'm putting in his tattoos um, with a gradient. And there you go, that's for his shoulders. And then he has the same on his forehead as well. And yet, as you can tell, uh, I've added detail to the white, to the white of the eyes. And his eyes are actually uh, like a white colour. So, as a distance, they may not come out too well. But the closer you get, then you understand them a little bit more. Um, I do define them a bit later with black around the iris. Um, as you can see, I'm doing the armour now. Uh, again, using a soft airbrush because it's metal, um, and then adding quite dramatic shines to it because that's what metal would do. Just adding just more metallic detail onto like the clasps of his armor and stuff like that, you know. Now I've started on the hair, I believe, and then because this base color was so dark anyway, it wouldn't have been. It would have looked as good as I was, if I was trying to add shading with a darker color. It would have just made it look kind of sloppy. So instead of doing that, I've just added. Uh, highlights and then because of that because of the dark under color it creates shading for you so um, there's that just a bit of a tip and now as a finishing touch I always go over the lines using the clipping tool and do darker versions of the color that the lines are around so for example the earrings there I'm doing like a dark gray and the same with the metallics you know like and for a skin, I'll do like a dark red or a dark brown. Um, just It just pulls everything together. And because my lines are quite scruffy anyway, uh, it makes the whole thing look a bit more neat. I'm just doing background stuff. 
adding my signature. And I decided at the end to add some uh, soft purple lights to his face, just to make his features stand out a bit more. And um, we're done, pretty much. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.